Let's spend a minute on Tua Tonga-Valoa and the Miami Dolphins going to L.A. and getting a 36-34 victory over the Chargers. Uh, part of what I would say is, well, you know, same old Chargers. The defense was crushingly disappointing. But I thought Tua Tonga-Valoa played a great game. I thought his best pass of the day was his last touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill in the end zone. Closely guarded Tyreek Hill where it was a beautiful touch pass by Tonga Valoa and Tyreek Hill had to battle to catch it, but it was in an absolutely perfect spot. Look, that game proved to me with Tua throwing for 466, that game proved to me beyond the shadow of a doubt that if Tua Tonga Valoa stays healthy, he is going to be at the very top, I don't know what, two, three, four quarterbacks in the NFL and, and look, one of the reasons you don't want to go too crazy about week one is that it's a very simple reason that Tua Tonga-Valoa has basically missed a month of each of his seasons as a starting quarterback in the NFL, and he has to stay healthy. The greatest sign to the greatest point for Tua, and I mentioned this to Mike McDaniel, who caught him for a few minutes uh, on their bus ride to the airport for the trip to, back to Miami. The best thing uh, is that Tua not only wasn't sacked in this game, he was not hit hard in this game. And so I think those are very, very good signs for the Miami Dolphins going forward. I I agree with you. I, I would temper though the, the Tua praise in a little bit of a way because to me, the, the Miami Dolphins should have won that game by more. I think that that game almost should have been a laugher. But you had Tua Tonga Bailoa mishandle two snaps on the opening drive. The first was yeah. a penalty, so it kind of didn't count. But the second ended up being a turnover. And it's, you know, in the red zone. I think that they were inside the five-yard line when that happened. And you can't have that happen. So it didn't happen the rest of the day. So it's one thing. But, like, that to me, that's an issue. And the second is the picky through to JC Jackson when you're in deep in plus territory. That's another one of those throws where it's just like, mm, I, almost, I, I think that that's just one he would want back. So this, yeah. those are two really good scoring opportunities that they just did not have because of those decisions by the quarterback. But then how do you respond, right? So he throws that throw that you mentioned, you know, to Tyreek Hill, but on that same drive right before it, third and 10, basically it's a do or die play. You got to have it climbs the pocket really well and then finds Tyreek Hill streaking down the right side. And Tyreek Hill had an outstanding day with 215 yards. So that throw also I thought was outstanding. It was great. You just need to see that consistency from Tua Tonga Loa from the start of the first quarter until the end of the game because I mean in theory he could have had 500 yards passing in yeah, that game that's easy, how good he yeah. was yeah hi I'm Mike Tirico and thanks for watching make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports